Okay, well this is my propane mower. This is, I started this. It's been running on propane for the entire summer, a little bit of spring. And initially I just started with little one pound camping cylinders, throwaway cylinders. Um, and I had a bleed on it, just a constant propane bleed. And there was a, a metering valve down here that I could throttle. And you know, and that worked. But I had to adjust it. Since the tank was in constant blowdown, I had to adjust it throughout the, the run or from morning to afternoon if the temperature varied. And that was okay, but uh, I wanted something different. It, but it was a trial at that point. So the line goes right in to the carburetor inlet, and there's a hole poked here in the air box. The line runs right behind the air filter, and then it, it ends right there. So it's, it's basically injecting propane right into the entry of the carburetor. And I can still run it on gas if I wanted to. It's all still intact in here. Um, all the emissions for the California carb legal lawnmower are still intact. I didn't change any of that. So I got rid of that. Um, the one pound cylinder finally went. I made my own propane tank. And, um, and not to worry, I mean, this has a burst strength of uh, a working pressure of about 700 pounds PSI. So and these hydro are much, much higher. Not, not a problem there. So I have liquid in here. I'm pulling off the gas phase. I actually have a, a stand pipe inside that comes up and captures the, just the gas phase. Bring it into a, a regulator like what you might have on your gas grill. And then a solenoid valve there, which does the actual on-demand uh, metering of propane. So it saves a little bit of propane and it, and it actually makes starting easier. So really what makes all this possible though is this, I have a sensor up in here measuring the crank angle. And it's about, oh I don't know, let's see, it's about, it's about not, maybe 110 degrees off a of top dead center. And uh, I have plenty of, um, of time in terms of microcontroller terms for uh, resolving out what that angle is um, to trigger that solenoid. So I have a PIC microcontroller here, and which I programmed, and I'm using, it has six general purpose in and outs. I'm only using one of them, and it has four, four analog digital converters. So I'm using two of those converters and one of the uh, general purpose uh, in and outs. And what it, it, it needs to see at least one revolution, and what it does is it it measures these potentiometers. Um, this one is the uh, the pulse length for the solenoid, and this is basically allows me to advance uh, when it actually triggers based off of that crank angle there. But it needs at least one revolution. It has to see one one trigger request off that crank angle sensor, and it'll do the calculations, store them in a variable, and then from that make an adjustment uh, for that solenoid down there. Yeah, let me give it a little power here. Uh, nope, that's not it. That's still not it. There we go. Alright, so I have a little LED here. You can see it. And you can hear the solenoid firing there. So the engine runs at about 50 hertz. So what you want to do is, is you want to adjust adjust these so that this light is basically steady state. Um, a little flicker, it's okay. Uh, initially though you'll see that it flickers quite a bit and then it settles down as you adjust them. I guessed pretty good on these initial settings and I could have, and now I can go back in and actually hard code um, a starting preset. Um, but I really don't seem to need to and I'm not going to right now anyways. Uh, so let's um, let's give it a try. Uh, bear with me here while I get this started. I gotta put a clamp on it and so forth. Okay, I have a clamp on this dead man lever. I don't recommend you do this at home, but it's just so that I can start it and then hold the camera and adjust these knobs for you. Um, you know, propane is is on here. Propane on. Power's on. 
Okay, so and it does again. It doesn't usually start on the first pool, and that's just because it has to generate some values for these guys. Um, which and you know it took me a while to figure this out. I wasn't pulling it hard enough sometimes to get more than a single revolution out of it, and then I finally re realized that I need to pull hard enough to get around about twice. And sometimes it stops right on the angle, um, if you, <laughs> right on the sensor, I mean. And so it'll keep that solenoid open. If that happens, I, I have to unplug it, which I just did. And uh, again, there's, I mean, there's, there's propane in here. I mean, it's it's running off of propane. In case anybody thinks there's gas in it, and you know, can't help you there either, though. So. Um, all right, so let's um, this time. Let me. I'll try starting it without making an adjustment. I'll leave these where I where I adjusted it at, and uh, it should start right back up. And we'll find out here. propane lawnmower it's uh you know could use some adjustments but uh, you know that, that's pretty good first crack at it um, that's it thanks for watching